what does a weed control company have to do with mowing and getting things getting your grass to look good like liberating the beauty well everything and let me tell you why anybody can kill weeds insects disease that's not the hard part the hard part um, is learning how to do that in a way that keeps the grass around it looking healthy and the yard here does not look the most healthy that's because we had a lot of death from last year's drought our centipede got ravaged back here i mean it just is really bad so we're growing a lot of grass back here right now we have a lot of dallas grass that we're doing experiments on so pardon the ugliness of it i know that's funny but um just wanted to show you real quick so what does mowing have to do with grass growth and getting your yard to look good it has everything to do with it um grass grows by runners these things run along the ground they root down and all these little points they throw down roots and it'll grow and fill in uh, bermuda grass does that we have carpet grass runners out here they're known as stolons s-t-o-l-o-n-s stolons st augustine stolons centipede stolons they all run across the ground and so mowing has everything to do with that because when you mow frequently it makes the grass grows more it, it makes it grow more sideways um, and so if you don't mow frequently the grass it goes up vertical um, this yard every yard wants to become a forest in mississippi it wants to to grow trees trees are what's going to take over and so you have to tell it no you're not going to become a forest you're a yard and i want you to be a good looking yard and so i'm going to mow you as frequently as i have time to do it because the more you mow it the more you're you're pruning the stems these above ground stolons i told you about those are stems and those stems the more you prune them or cut them the more they're going to send more stems out and you're going to get this dense turf mat this uh, dense canopy of turf grass uh, golf courses know that very well they mow more than once a week uh, the more frequent you can mow it and i know it's not practical to mow it twice a week for 99 percent of people but i'm just saying that's something you definitely don't want to skip out on this time of year mowing is something that the more you can do it especially in the times of year where you have the few opportunity to really get the grass to grow well which by the way is certainly april may june even april may and right now it's may and may is the number one month because it's not as blazing hot as june july august when you're just trying to replace the heat that's lost from evaporation and may is just a wonderful time june is a wonderful time please if you want your grass to grow and grow a lot mow as frequently as you can i hope that helps explain it one last thing so everything with plants is about energy redistribution and so basically i just want to circle back to this you're telling the plant hey don't send energy into going this way because you're constantly telling it hey you got to go this way and so basically you're redistributing the energy into horizontal growth as opposed to vertical growth so that's as scientific as it gets it's not any more complicated than that and i hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching